1,200 civilians walked from the neighboring city of Weimar to begin a forced tour of the camp. There are many smiling faces, and according to observers, at first the Germans act as though this was something being staged for their benefit. that the German civilians see as they reach the interior of the camp is the parchment display. On a table for all to gaze upon is a lampshade made of human skin, made at the request of an SS officer's wife. Large pieces of skin have been used for painting pictures, many of an obscene nature. There are two heads which have been shrunk to one-fifth their normal size. These and other exhibits of Nazi origin are shown to the townspeople. the changes in facial expressions as the Weimar citizens leave the parchment display. The tour continues with a forced inspection of the camp's living quarters, where the stench, filth, and misery defied description. They see the result of lack of care in the bad case of trench foot. Other evidences of horror, brutality, and human indecency are shown, and these people are compelled to see what their own government had perpetrated. Correspondents assigned to the Buchenwald story have given wide notice to the well-fed, well-dressed appearance of the German civilian population of the Weimar area. 